Hi there, my name is Benedict Rose. You're still watching MX24, and it's time to update you in the world of sports. Now, we we'll start here from the locals, and then Dreams FC striker Abel Manomi believes his outfit is going to cause teams problems uh, when the Ghana Premier League starts in November. Now, Manomi joins uh, the likes of Philemon McCarthy, Ajinin Boatin, and Joseph Esso as uh, the new recruitment uh, made by the club in the transfer window. It's good. It's it's a nice um, environment. I think um, beating new players, being a new environment has, you know, I think it will take time for me to acclimatize to the staff, but I think it was awesome. When you look at Team Harmony, Team Unism, like I said before, I think it's happened. When we continue doing this, I think when the league resumes in November 13th, we, we are going to cause a lot of troubles in most premier clubs. Sure. Well, I think that um, with um, with the training model that the coach gave us, he was telling us you have to be 60%, 70% ready. And I think um, I've, I've elapsed that um, scoring goals to their trainer. It's it's a good sign that um, um, continuous hard work will push me to the place. So I think it's a gradual process. It will take time. But uh, finally, when I hit uh, my fitness, I know it will be fun playing the league. We're from Dreams FC. The Ghana Football Association has confirmed the Black Stars uh, will play Qatar on Monday, October 12, in Antaya in Turkey in an international friendly. Now, the 2022 World Cup host comes in to replace Equatorial Guinea, who pulled out of a similar friendly over traveling restrictions. Now, Qatar, who have a game against India on October 8, will take on Ghana on October 12, as I mentioned. And the two countries will use the friendly to prepare for their respective international competitions in November. Remember, the Black Stars will play Mali on Friday. Friday before the game against Qatar on Monday in Turkey. And away from the local scene, last night matches were played in the English uh, Carabao Cup. And of course, Manchester City, the defending champions, they progressed to the next stage of the competition after winning their game. Raheem Sterling's first two uh, goals uh, of the season and Fran Torres' first for the club ensured they reached the quarterfinals of the competition at the expense of Burnley. Manchester United also finished off Brighton for the second time in four days with Paul Pogba scoring a free kick to help seal their progress to the quarterfinals of the competition. Tonight uh, will be the turn of uh, Liverpool, the defending Premier League champions. They are hoping to win uh, Carabao Cup uh, this season and they are up against Arsenal. Their second meeting in five days and that game will be at Anfield. Brentford uh, will come up against the uh, English Premier League side Fulham with, an all, with Aston Villa also taking on Stoke City. So those are the three matches that will be played tonight in the English Carabao Cup. Well, away from England, Bayern Munich uh, won the German Super Cup with Joshua Kimmich scoring uh, the winning goal for the Champions League holders. Uh, Bayern had suffered a shock defeat in the Bundesliga at the hands of Hoffenheim but bounced back to pick another trophy at the expense of Borussia Dortmund. Well, congrats to the German champions. They just can't stop winning Bayern Munich yesterday beating Borussia Dortmund 3-2 to win the German Super Cup. Well, elsewhere last night, Real Madrid had to dig deep uh, to beat Real Valladolid. It took Vinicius Jr. to come off the bench to score the only goal of the game. And three more games uh, will be played in the Spanish La Liga later tonight. Uh, Barcelona will be up against uh, Celta de Vigo, where Ghanaian international Joseph Edu plays his club football. The other games to look forward to, Athletic Bilbao will come up against newly promoted side Cardis, and then we'll have Sevilla. They will take on Levante. Now to the Italian Serie Romelu Lukaku scored twice as Inter Milan maintained their 100% start to the season by thrashing Benevento. Victory means Inter have won two games out of two so far in this area with both being high scoring encounters. So remember tonight there are a lot of games to look forward to especially in the UEFA Europa League qualification. There is Tottenham Hotspur in action. We also uh, we see the likes of Galatasaray, AC Milan, Lask Linsk. We we'll definitely will update you on all the matches that will be played uh, when you join us uh, tomorrow here on the show. Also uh, remember the UEFA Champions League draw is on later today. And uh, we'll see how the defending champions, that's Bayern Munich, where they will be in terms of the group stages. Uh, Liverpool won it two seasons ago. There are a lot of teams there, and we'll see if uh, Pep Guardiola's team, that's Manchester City, will, whichever group that they're going to be in and how well they will start. We'll bring you all that here tomorrow on the show. But away from football, let's do some tennis. And 12-time champion Rafael Nadal is into the, uh, the round three of the French Open by thrashing American Mackenzie McDonald. But the Spanish second seed dropped only four games in a 6-1, 6 love. Six feet win. Now, let's do some NBA news. And Los Angeles Lakers uh, comfortably beat the injury hit Miami Heat uh, 116 98 in game one of the NBA Finals. Anthony Davis scored 34 points for the Lakers with James LeBron James adding 24, 25 actually, uh, points and nine assists.
Well, the Los Angeles uh, Lakers fans out there, don't be too excited. This is just game one. We are going seven games, and we'll see how that will go. But, uh, of course, we have to end with some sad news. And the, uh, the young boys uh, that you know, were involved in an accident, uh, the team, that's the African Vision Academy, uh, the boys were laid to rest uh, today. The Sports Minister Isaac Isiyama and some members of the Ghana Football Association were in attendance. May their souls rest in perfect peace. Well, that's how we end sports here. On MX24, my name is Benedict Tosu. Thanks so much for watching.